What is up guys, Titan here and I'm back with another video. So I decided to go ahead and skip to the end of season 1. Uh, we didn't really skip through anything too important. It was mostly just, uh, I want to say farming, maybe hatching some of the babies. Although for anyone that actually plays main official, uh, you know, once you see these baby stats are going to be like, oh, that's, that's not good. That's not the best. Uh, I mean, a lot of people kind of forget what it's like to actually play the game with only tamed dinos, right? Uh, but anyways, yeah, we're skipping to the end. Uh, I think we have about nine episodes now. Everything you've seen in season one was about a week and a half of just, uh, like five guys messing about. So we get fobbed on while we're in the middle of raising stuff. Only thing we really farmed is uh, metal. Uh, everything else like gear is from them and bases that we raided. Now our cave was in a sneaky spot until our Parasaur actually detected uh, a mana that was passing by. So I had to deal with the mana, uh, then make preparations for an incoming fob. And like I said, everything we own is from them. Since on 1x with five people, it takes a lot longer to prepare for you know what was actually gonna be coming our way. It was about 3 or 4 a.m. I was alone, so I wasn't, you know, talking to myself in the mic like I am right now. I was fighting for about two hours before, and the only person who was able to wake up slash come online uh, joined the Discord, and it was now. So on top of solo defending for a while, not talking in the mic for the sake of the video, I had Niall to help me defend. It was not a good night. And since this was just some mindless PvP, we're gonna put some music over it. If you guys want to see the unedited live version of this defense, it should be up on Niall's channel. Uh, link will be in the description. You'll probably regret clicking it. Maybe not. Take a shot. Some of you guys know I have Season 2 recorded, which I need to edit and pump out. For those who see my community posts, know that Season 3 is gonna be a thing. And although Season 2 was rough, I wasn't going to take away the opportunity for those who missed out on playing in Season 2. Uh, I think in Season 2, there was more than 300 people that, you know, were trying to get in. Uh, so let's just say around 300 people messaged us trying to get in. 100 were actually invited to the Discord. And out of the 100 people in the Discord were... Um, I believe about 50 people out of the 100 people uh, actually got invited in game. And keep in mind, this is maybe from a week or maybe two weeks of having these people in the Discord. And now with season three here, I have some of the guys from season two. I'd say maybe around like 10 of the guys from the season two group. Because we sort of, I want to say, called it not, not quits, kind of took a break. Um, most of the people kind of organizing this stuff had to go play on main official and everybody else went and did their own thing, whether it was other games or unofficial. So as of today, my last community post in my community tab contains a discord link to the new tribe discord. This link is only good for 24 hours. So if you click that link and it doesn't work, just keep an eye out on my community tab and the channel discord for updates. And for the love of God, only try to play in Season 3 if you have the time to be there. There's been people who have, I guess, ruined or disrupted their daily routines just so they can show that they are useful or something like that. There are so many different ways you can prove that. And in the end, all that really matters is you got to be able to balance real life versus a game. And without further ado... Uh, let's get into the video. Again. 
structure falls and all else fails, we will build it once again. We can climb high, higher than before, or we could stand by while it burns to the floor that we cannot fly. We will build and the wounds will mend. So after hours of defending and of course using up whatever we can to defend and, you know, by chance maybe make them pack up and leave, uh, you know, for whatever reason. Um, but as you guys saw, this fob had a tech force field and a tech force field obviously requires tech to break. I think in a tech tap saddle, it's about 20 element, but we only had explosives like rockets and C4. It's about 500 C4, I think, and I don't think we're going to be, you know, close enough to C4 that tech bubble. <laughs> so, you know, obviously we aren't getting in that fob. On top of that, they called in more players who actually played main official with me uh, in one point of, you know, my time on official. So the raid loggers definitely help these guys out, you know, get more numbers to help and uh, I guess like suppress us. Is that the right word? So this is when we went on to actually uh, leave Asia, go fight some wars on main official. And when things died down, you know, on there, because, you know, some of these wars are maybe like four days long, maybe a week, like you never know, right? Uh, but once, you know, the stuff died down is when we actually aimed to go back for season two. If you guys enjoyed the video and the series, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, 24 hours to join season three. Link is in my last community post, and I'll see you guys later.